So let me tell you something about you might already know. Vertux is a brand which is just released recently and I can say they have something to prove. They make gaming peripherals such as gaming mice, gaming keyboards, gaming headsets, and even headset stands. But on this video, we're gonna talk about a little bit different from those devices that I mentioned. This is basically a keypad which is designed for the left hand only. So if you are left handed, this might not be for you. Designed for left hand and it's not for left handed? A bit confusing, right? But hopefully, all those brands who's making the same kind will release for the left hand gamers as well. And this is what we're going to discuss right now. This is the combat keypad from Vertox. To be honest, I've been waiting for a new brand who could make another one like this. And there are some but without the analog stick on the side, which is one of my preferred buttons for directional control. So when I saw this online, I was immediately attracted and curious about it. So I purchased one really quick and here it is right now. Let's unbox it together and witness what is inside. And here is the box. There is a Vertex branding on the upper left corner, the warranty on the right, the combat title, the RGB, some subtitle, and the compatible devices such as PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. It also comes with a stretchable handle. As I mentioned in my previous video with a similar brand product, the box looks like the Razer brand with its color accent. Though it looks premium, I still prefer to see a different color instead of a similar one with another brand. But anyway, not a big issue there though. So what comes in the box is the little documentation, the USB to USB-C cable, and the combat keypad itself. This is definitely a premium product when you look at it. When you talk about the build, the faceplate was made of aluminum and even the base is made of plastic, it still looks premium. There was a rubberized palm rest, which is adjustable. Some ports on the side, which you can use as pass-through, and another USB port in front together with the USB-C to connect your devices. Now talking about the button keys. The WASD has a different texture from the rest. There are four buttons on the left side, which are not mechanical, and one on the right. It claims as Blue Mechanical Switch, though it does not mention whether it's Cherry MX, Kale, Razer, and any other known switches in the market, it still feels and sounds really blue. Comparing it with the Razer Tartarus V2, Logitech G13, and the first Razer Tartarus, it has the softest button in my opinion, making it more comfortable to control. Just for you to hear, here is a little sound test of all these four. Being a blue switch, the very small clicky sound is there. To be honest, this is the best mechanical key for me. I'm really enjoying clicking on it, maybe because I know that every time I hear that little sound, I know that the command has been registered. In my opinion, the possible selling point of this device is its mechanical keys and its industrial build. So well, what do you think guys? Is this new brand really has something to prove? Please leave your comment down below and if you like something to discuss about its features, please write it on as well. Thank you all for watching, this is Roland Dewey, signing off.